everybody. Let's talk about Love and Hip Hop New York Season 10. Ooh, this should be very interesting. Because from what I hear, they got a lot of the old people coming back, y'all. The ones that we really liked in the past seasons. So let's break this whole thing down. So at first, we got Joe Budden and Sin Santana. Now, Joe proposed to Sin, so they were engaged. If y'all don't remember, here it goes. Now, they are not together, but they are under contract, so they have to appear on the show. If y'all don't remember, the past year, they've been going through a lot of troubles. On May 14th, during a live broadcast of his podcast, Joe Button confirmed that they were broken up, but he said they never used the word broke up. So what do y'all think? I had broken up with somebody. Good show tonight like this. <laughs> After reading an article about yourself. Yeah. So I want to tell, and this is breaking news. So I want to tell y'all, y'all, y'all are the first to hear. We didn't break up. Okay. There's been no breakup. Now words are important. So what does that mean? What that means is that. Neither one of us said it. It's over. <laughs> now, with that, being with that said, uh, we haven't spoken. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the break. We haven't spoken in a little while. I think her phone's been dead for a few weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna do that too. Uh, uh, overtime at work. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of reasons I can think of. Right? Yeah. Reason why I'm for it to bail out. Yeah. This man needs to lose charge. Don't, don't you have to, like, you know that the end probably got frayed. You know how the end of the charge gets frayed? I hate when that happens. Frayed. You gotta That's hold it in a certain way. Don't say frayed. Just say frayed. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't say frayed in front of all these people. Yeah, I did. Frayed. Uh, can you have a breakup without saying it? No, I'm just saying you're prolonged. I'm asking a very serious question. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm asking for enlightenment from Tampa. Listen, women. Can you break up? Without actually breaking up, like I didn't take it no way when she moved all that shit out of the house. <laughs> I'm like, all right, man, it ain't enough room here. <laughs> it ain't enough room. <laughs> it ain't enough room for y'all. Hey. So y'all see, he was sitting there joking about her moving everything out of their house. They ain't say break up, but they ain't been together, so that's where they are. Interesting enough. They have Tahiri returning. Y'all remember Tahiri? Y'all remember when he proposed to Tahiri? Trust. And I don't trust you right now. Trust. 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 But I can't believe you. Like, one day you're good, one day you're bad, one day it's foundation on my pillowcases, one day you have a ring. How am I supposed to believe you? That's a no. So I wonder. Are they going to rekindle what they used to have? Because I don't see much going on with Tahiri in the love department. However, on the other hand, since Santana's ex, Erica Mena, is also returning. She will be returning with her new husband, Safari Samuels, Nicki Minaj's ex. They got a baby girl on the way, and they is just living their best life. You know, I knew they was a match made in heaven when they was on that show, Scared Famous, Reality Stars Edition. You don't show me no play or no signs that you like me, but I should just rub your feet when you feel like you want your foot rubbed. Listen, the weight to my heart is definitely rubbing my feet. Yeah, I could tell. I've gotten nowhere with you. Erica gives me a little warm, tingly feeling on the inside. 
So when it comes to a foot rub for her, I'm gonna do it. Because I need her to be healthy to carry my baby for nine months. I'm so happy for them. I really like them together. I think they're a good match because Erica is a firecracker and Safari is more passive. And more passive men need that firecracker woman. It's a good balance. I think they are a great couple together, but I think this is going to be one of the best love and hip hop seasons ever. Erica's spot on the show propelled when she had that infamous fight with Kim Bella. Remember that? Well, she's returning as well, so that connection should be interesting. Now, we also got Kimbella and Jewels. As you know, Jewels was arrested for that airport situation, and he's still serving time, so I guess she's going to be on there. I don't know if the children will be on there, but she did have the baby. The end of the last season, she was pregnant. But recently, I read that they were having some issues with their home, that their home is about to be foreclosed. I don't, I'm allegedly, because I don't know if that's true or not, but it's supposed to be public record. I have no idea because they was like she was doing plastic surgery. Her birthday just passed recently. And they're like she's doing plastic surgery and her house is about to foreclose. I don't know. I can't be sure. But that is what's going on on the media. Also, Joelle's partner, Jim Jones, is going through something similar. Now, he said he's not going to be on the show, but he is going to appear to support Chrissy, who is one of the original Love and Hip Hop New York cast members, which is one of my favorite people on Love and Hip Hop because I like her realness. Jim Jones' name has most recently came up in the Takashi 69 situation. So I wonder will they explore any of that in this season? I highly doubt it, but we'll see. Now, if y'all don't recall, Chrissy also put hands on Kimbella when she went to tell Fab Baby Mother that she was sleeping with him while they were together, which was kind of odd because she was with Joelle, so I don't even see the point in bringing that up. But she did, and Chrissy stomped old girl out, y'all. Y'all don't, I know y'all remember that. So I wonder, have they fixed their situation, or is this still gonna be tension between them? And Yandy, you know, she's gonna be on the show. She's the middleman of all that to me. I like Yandy. I just don't find her interesting enough to be on a show like Love & Hip Hop, and that's just my opinion. Um, I think she's a great activist thing she's doing now and helping all these causes, but I don't see her as, like, a great fit for Love & Hip Hop. I never did. Uh, I just never was interested in any of her storyline. I'm assuming her husband, or I don't know, I think he's not her husband because she didn't sign the papers, but she uses his name, so I'm going to say it's her husband. Her husband, I think he's still locked up. I don't think he's out yet. And they have the kids. And I think she might be doing something with her foster daughter, that little girl that she had, because that little girl been posting a lot recently, so I guess she's going to be on this season too. Juju will be back. Yes, Cameron's ex Juju, she's coming back. I always like Juju. I think she is a great fit. She's just got a different type of swag than everybody else, and I kind of like that. Now, since the last season, you know, Cameron tried to embarrass her with that whole lonely girl post and exposing that he broke up with her because she wanted to fight his people from his team and it was messing up his money so he broke up with her and he released that video for no good reason she never really said anything negative about him so i read between that so who's really the sour puss in it all you know now as for remy ma and papoose I haven't seen any confirmation of them being on the show. However, they did have a lot of stuff going on in the media as well since the last season. You know, that whole situation with Brittany Taylor saying that Remy Ma punched her in the face and then later saying it was Pat Poos. I don't know what's the situation with that. I know Remy Ma didn't get arrested for it, but she wasn't allowed to travel. Her parole got more strict, but I think now she's off of parole. So, um, I don't know. If anybody else knows more about Remy and Pat being on the show, let me know. And of course, we got the regular supporting cast, Jonathan Fernandez, Erica Mendez, Danny Garcia, Rich Dollars, and Samaya Reese will be back. I know y'all remember her from season one. So that's about it. Let me know what y'all gonna do. Are y'all gonna watch this season? Cause this should be a really, really good season. I promise you, this is probably gonna be all the records. So I'm gonna close this video with this question. What exactly are you looking forward to seeing on this season of Love & Hip Hop New York? Leave your opinions down below in the comments. Make sure you like this video if you watched it all the way through. 
subscribe, and definitely check back for all that and some more. Peace. Peace.